Before I start this video, my voice is going, so please bear with me. I mean, it sounds bad, but you guys will get the point. Like, you did click on this video for a reason, didn't you? You already know it's Shannon Marie. Hey lovelies and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Shannon Marie and by the title I'm pretty sure you guys already know what this video is going to be about. I am going to let you guys know how I take care of my goddess locks. Mm hmm yes honey, yes. About these goddess locks, I use two packs of deep twist. I will insert a picture right here. And I used four packs of the Cuban twist and I will insert that picture right here. I started last week Saturday. Last week Saturday was March 3rd so I started 7 p.m. and then obviously I wasn't gonna stay up all night to do it so I um, finished the next day which was a Sunday which was March 4th. I finished at around Honestly, I can't remember. I've been wanting to do the goddess locks for the longest time. I haven't done it because a lot of people just say it takes forever. I single braided my hair with the deep twist and honestly, it was the fastest thing ever. Honestly, the goddess locks go way faster than the regular faux locks. I kind of wanted, wanted to go for the messy type goddess lock. I also went ahead and I added some gold accessories from the beauty supply store. I used two... <clears throat> Let's try that again. I used two packs of these gold hair accessories, if you guys can see. They're not heavy, it's very light to be honest. I use one strand of hair out of the pack to wrap to wrap each um, lock. So I guess that's why I only ended up using four. I went on Instagram and I asked somebody who was more familiar with doing full locks on how much packs of hair she would use for goddess locks. And I think she said eight to nine packs. I, no, I'm lying. I think it was seven to eight, I can't remember. But between six or nine, I don't, I can't remember, but I bought eight packs and I only used four so th that's you know even better in the morning and in the night time what I do with my full locks I'm gonna actually take this down when I first finished them they were super heavy because it was tight I think after three days it felt flexible it's only heavy because it's tight this is my goddess locks for the first time ever I don't know this is my first time doing them on myself I think I did pretty good what you guys think this is how they look this is how long they are I actually left out a lot of curls to be honest this is what they look like close up um, for the parts I didn't really do them a specific way if you guys can see they're kind of just parted any way anyhow um, yeah my goal honestly is to try to keep these in for a month or two hopefully because honestly I do my hair too much I need to stop I need to let my hair grow when I first was doing my faux locks people were asking me oh like how do you keep your hair under the lock moisturized when I first started before each lock I used main choice ancient Egyptian cuticle control leave-in lotion Let's see if my camera will focus this so I use this I also went ahead and I used my um, tropical moringa restorative spray this is bomb I promise you guys I moisturized my hair first and then I braided it with the deep twist and then I began to wrap it with the, with the Cuban twist I burnt the end I burnt it instead of using nail glue because the nail glue looked kind of pasty so I didn't want that type of look so I just burned the end and then I just palm rolled it like this so that it would you know blend in just like how this one looks every single morning every single night if I miss some mornings I'll do it in the evening I use my wild growth hair oil I use my wild growth hair oil on my scalp so that my scalp stays moisturized this doesn't have the best smell but you know what they say about things that don't smell good always 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 massage in your oils after you you know apply it to your hair
forget to massage your scalp. A lot of people have been asking me, what do you do when it's itchy? Because I have nails, I'll just go in and like, I'll do this. Like I never scratch hard like that, I just normally do that. But when it usually comes to the front of my hairline, I like to take my rat tail comb and I just do this. Like that. That's when it's itching. I don't like to use my nails all the time to itch because I feel like it pulls the hair out of the lock itself. So. To save myself some time, I just, you know, I use my rat tail comb. This is the oil right here. It's like a squeeze tube like this. And in order to get the oil out of it, because mine is almost done, if you guys can see, I don't know. Don't know if you guys can see that. But what I normally do, I lean it like this. And I take the pump and I squeeze the pump like that and then the oil comes out. Do not squeeze the dropper onto your hair. You'll just dab it like this. Like that. I normally just go ahead and I dab it without squeezing. And I only put this on my hairline. And sometimes in the middle. And again guys, massage, massage, massage. A lot of people have been asking me how do I maintain the curls? Because it is synthetic hair, it's going to get knotty, it's going to get tangled very quickly. So what I normally do, I honestly use this. So I normally just spray it, the ends, and then you just do this. Like that. It's not human hair, so I mean, it's not expected to stay curly as when I first did it. So. That's what I normally do to get the curls back. These ones here, I feel because I play around with my hair too much, so they start to frizz a little bit faster. Now, when I go to my bed, I always, always wrap my faux locks with sometimes a silk scarf, sometimes a satin scarf. Silk is better, but I lost my silk scarf, so I had to resort to using my satin scarf. This is my satin scarf. It says I love Jesus on it. And I take one corner and I fold down to the opposite corner and it forms a triangle like this. I flip my hair back, like so. I tie it like that. Bring it from behind my neck or whatever. And then I just tie it into a bow. Like this. So, this is how I go to my bed. I let the back just chill. That's what I normally do. That's how I normally go to sleep. And yeah. Well, that's how I take care of my goddess locks. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to leave your questions down below in the comment section. Everything that I use, I will leave in the description box below. Most of these things can be purchased at your local beauty supply store where I got mine. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Don't forget to follow my social media. Um, I don't have Twitter, but I do have Instagram and Snapchat. That again is all in the description box down below. Follow me, let's be friends. I wanna thank you guys so much again for coming on my channel to watch my video. Thanks for the love. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.